In this video, I'll show you how you can make money with your directory website. Unless you are creating a non-profit directory, some monetization model is required for it. The most common monetization models are charging users for adding and promoting listings or charging businesses for claiming their listings. These monetization models are common for websites like Yelp, Craigslist and TripAdvisor. To add the monetization functionality to this website, Let's install two Hivepress extensions, paid listings and claim listings. To do that, simply go to the Hivepress extension section and proceed by installing and activating the mentioned extensions. Also, it's crucial to install WooCommerce a free e-commerce plugin, since it will be used for accepting and processing payments on the website. To do this, go to the Plugins Add New section and find WooCommerce with the search bar. Then click on the Install Now button. Once it's successfully installed, proceed by clicking on the Activate link. Once you activate WooCommerce, it will automatically launch its setup wizard. You should go through all the steps to set up payments for your website, but I'll skip it in this video since every website has its own unique details and payment methods. The first monetization model I would like to show you is charging users for adding listings and making them featured. Featured listings appear at the top of the search results. The starting point is to create the WooCommerce products that will be used for payments. To do this, go to the WooCommerce product section to add a new product. Here you can set the product name, price and mark it as a virtual product. It will be used for charging users for making listings featured. Then click on the publish button. Also, let's add one more product to link it with the premium listing package we'll create later. Great! Now navigate to the Hivepress Settings Listings section and select the product we have just created. Also, don't forget to set the featured status duration in days and save changes. Now let's check how it works. To do this, we can open the website homepage, then go to the user dashboard, pick any listing and click on the star icon. As you can see, there is a redirect to the checkout page where users have to fill in the form and proceed to payment. The selected listing will get the featured status once the payment is processed. That's how it works! Alright, now let's create some listing packages to charge users for adding new listings. Go to the WordPress dashboard, Listings, Packages section, and click Add New. For example, let's start with adding a free package. Enter the package name, describe it, and set the maximum number of listing submissions. Then click on the Publish button. After adding a free package, let's add a premium one. Simply click on the Add New button, enter the package name, fill in the description, then set the maximum number of listing submissions and finally select the WooCommerce product that we have created previously. Also, keep in mind that you can make listing packages category specific by assigning them to corresponding listing categories. This way you can sell different packages depending on the listing category or you can make certain categories free. Everything depends on your website niche and requirements. Finally, click on the publish button. Okay, now let's try to add a new listing to check how everything works. Simply go to the website homepage and click on the Add Listing button. I'll briefly fill in all the fields and submit the listing.
As you can see, users have to select one of the packages to add a new listing. And if they choose a premium package, there is a redirect to the checkout page. So, now you are familiar with the first common monetization model. Let's set up the second one, to charge business owners for claiming listings. First, add a new product that will be used for the claim payment. As usual, go to the WordPress dashboard, WooCommerce, Products section, and add a new product. After filling in all the details, click on the Publish button. Then, go to the HivePress Settings section, Claims tab, and select a product we have just created. Now, let's check how it works. To do this, I have to log in as a new user because I cannot claim my own listings. So, I'll switch to the incognito mode and quickly register a new user. By the way, here is a reCAPTCHA that we enabled previously. Now, let's find any non-verified listing, for example, this one. As you can see, there is a Claim Listing button. Let's click on it. Here, business owners can optionally add extra details providing that they own this listing and submit the form. Then, there will be a redirect to the checkout page, where users can fill in the form and proceed to payment. If there is a successful payment, the claim is created and approved automatically, and the user is set as a listing author, getting permissions to edit the listing details, reply to messages, etc. Also, the listing gets a verified badge, and it can't be claimed by other users anymore. That's it! Of course, there are also other possible monetization models, depending on your site niche and requirements. For example, charging users for browsing the directory via memberships, charging users for booking listings, and more. You can check a list of HivePress extensions one more time to get a better idea of all the available monetization options. That's all for this video. Now, the website is almost ready, but it's also very important to improve its performance both for user experience and SEO. In the next video, I'll show you how to do this.